Glad to have you here with us as we continue. It is Thursday. It is the final day of October. It is Halloween and it's also time to make plans for the Little Debbie Hamilton County Fair. Who better to talk about that than our first guest right off the block? It is Hamilton County Mayor Weston Watt. Mayor, good to see you as always. Thank you, Chip. Um, the fair. Well, obviously it's going into a bigger location than it has been and you guys are stacking one thing on top of another and getting ready to knock them out of the park. Give us the overview on the Little Debbie Hamilton County Fair. Well, Chip, as you know, I've got an interesting job. So on some days <laughs> we're working on school projects right. and then economic development deals. But then we've made this, uh, let's call it a new tradition, right? Mm -hmm. We've had a county fair. It never was as big. Um, uh, it was never as big of an affair as it is in some parts of the state. Sure. And so when I came into office, we wanted to use McDonald Farm, which is tailor-made for a county fair. Our first year got bigger than we anticipated. 40,000 people con converged on the, the fairgrounds. And part of our message for this year is we've actually planned a much better, bigger fair, but we've sorted out traffic. So don't be scared <laughs> off of uh, some people because of the, the interest last year, I think ended up waiting an hour or so in traffic. We, we don't think there'll be any traffic concerns. We've worked with the sheriff's office and our emergency management team and highway patrol to straighten that part out. So it's all upside. Friday night rodeo followed by Sister Hazel. Sister Hazel's this awesome Southern rock band that uh, a lot of millennials my age, I think might enjoy sharing with their children. That's what the county fair is all about, bringing people together from across our community. We moved it back into November so that we can celebrate veterans. This is over Veterans Day weekend, so every part of the fair uh, has an element of Americana in it. And the rodeo and uh, a prime music act Saturday night, of, this is all next week, the 8th to the 10th right. of November. Saturday night's our hometown boy, Larry Fleet, who's really an up and coming star in country music. He's the a talent. Of, Big no time. No doubt about it. Big time. So we're excited. The Little Debbie Hamlin County Fair captures the essence of what we're doing. We knew that if we wanted to take the fair big and really make it a production uh, that was the scale that Hamilton County expects that we needed a big partner. And the best partner we could think of was Little Debbie. We're super grateful to the McKee family for them stepping into this big role for a second year. And at the fair, you will be able to see the world's biggest Little Debbie. Every the year, they, they, they pull pie. out all the stops. Yeah, they really fine. do. And I'm glad you guys have pulled out all the stops, purely as far as logistics are concerned. In the previous incarnation of the fair, when it was held at Chester Frost Park, yeah. you want to waste two hours of your life, you'll never get back. You could go sit in that traffic jam. I'm right. glad that the sheriff's office and other the sheriff's yeah. office and uh, other agencies are working together with you to make getting to the fair and leaving the fair safe, quick, and efficient. Um, you think of the term Hamilton County Fair, obviously you think a lot of food, that'll be there, but you guys have expanded the rides and the attractions for this year, correct? Yeah, I mean, the, the, we need to ticket the event so that we know how many people are coming. So there's a modest cost to three days, there's a very modest cost if you just want to come for one day. It's really a few dollars, kids under 10 are free, because our intent here was to celebrate everything that binds Hamilton County together. Right. And I think this fair feels a little different to us. We're going to go into a big election week next week. People on different sides of it. Our hope is that people come to the farm from Chattanooga, from Sale Creek, from the political left and the political right. We're reminded of all the things that um, that we share in common. And to your point, it, it is a big celebration. This is not uh, is some effort, you know, to take advantage of families. I went to a, a a fair of sorts a few months ago with my little kids and we spent fifty dollars just riding a few rides mm -hmm. it once you're on the fairgrounds and again kids are free the rides are totally free the lumberjack shows are free the whole experience once you're in uh, is free from that point um, obviously the food vendors you got to pay for yeah. the food but the experience of the thing is really meant to be multi-generational an opportunity for people from across the region to learn a little bit about Hamilton County's history, which began in the Sale Creek area, very close to McDonald Farm. And let's go celebrate veterans, let's ce celebrate Hamilton County. And again, at the end of the political season here, let's see, let's talk about what uh, what Chip Chapman and Weston Wamp have in common rather than what divides us. No question, and I think that is one of the underlying points for this year's fair. We have a lot more in common than we have separating us as a community and as a country and this is one way to help celebrate and observe that yeah. and you were talking a moment ago about the inexpensive prices um three days if you buy them online 13 bucks 
three full days of entertainment, $13. Of course, you can buy individual passes or individual tickets there at the gate, but get them online. And you were speaking about veterans and you were speaking about uh, some other folks. You want to do something good? Buy them. Buy their family a ticket or a pass, however you want to put it, to this year's Little Debbie Hamilton County Fair. They'll appreciate it, and uh, it's just going to be a great time. I'm going to guarantee you right now I'm going out on a limb. Great weather for the county fair. We, we've already locked hold, that up. Hold me to it. <laughs> you got somebody over here videotaping it. Uh, it's a pleasure to see you as always. Thanks, Thanks for you your too. time. I know um, it's not like you don't have 347 plates in the air all at once. Thanks for taking time to come join us. Well, we're grateful to be here. Stick around. There is more of Let's Chat coming up next.